Hi, my name's Scott Wordley, and I'm the Director of Learning and Teaching in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering here at Monash. To give you a better idea of where your mechanical engineering degree could take you, we asked some of our alumni working around the world to send us a short video explaining what they're doing for work and where they're working currently. This is what they had to say. Hi, I'm Phil. I graduated Monash in 2009. I'm working in the construction industry as a mechanical project engineer. I'm currently building gas compression facilities for coal seam gas exports in Queensland. Hi, my name's Chris. I graduated Monash University with a mechanical engineering degree in 2013. I'm currently working as a communications engineer for the Marosha F1 team. It involves maintaining and operating the communication system, which involves the radio and intercom system that the engineers and drivers both use. Uh, my average week involves arriving at a track on a Tuesday, setting up the system and then maintaining it for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then packing up um, on the Sunday evening to fly home Monday. I currently live in Germany, though I enjoy frequent trips back to Australia. I'm in Italy at the moment, we'll be here for another four days uh, before we move on to Singapore in two weeks' time. Hi, my name's David and I graduated from a Mechanical Engineering and Science double degree in 2013. I just started working in the Strength and Dynamics group at Scania in Sweden. As part of my job, I conduct simulations to ensure the ongoing functionality of chassis components, even when exposed to the harshest of driving conditions. At this site alone, there are 11,000 employees, that's including both research and development and manufacturing, so it's a pretty exciting place to be. Good luck for your choice of engineering stream, you never know where it might take you. Hi guys, my name is Ivashi and I graduated from Monash in 2011. I'm currently a field engineer in the oil and gas industry and I work on oil rigs onshore and offshore all across Australia. Thanks to my job last year itself, I have travelled to various countries including Russia, New Zealand, UAE and Malaysia and I've met people from all around the world. Hi, my name is Rick, graduated Monash University in 2010. I'm now working for Rolls-Royce, living in Berlin, Germany. Uh, we build gas turbine engines for aircraft such as Boeing, Airbus, uh, Bombardier and Gulfstream. I'm currently working on the Gulfstream G650 jet engine and in my current role I'm looking after all design changes and engineering budget on the inlet nacelle, thrust reverser and oil and fuel systems. Um, working overseas and living overseas is an excellent opportunity I'd absolutely recommend to anybody who gets the opportunity. Hi, my name's Andrew and I graduated from Monash at the end of 2008. I'm currently working as a project engineer based in Port Hedland and I've been up here for the past couple of years. We've been building materials handling systems for iron ore companies and to give you some idea of the numbers, they typically load between 12,000 to 14,000 tonnes per hour which enables them to load a 200,000 tonne vessel in just under a day. Now that's not a bad day's work is it? Hi my name is Alistair, I graduated Monash in 2004 and I'm working as a race car engineer for the Holden Racing Team in the V8 Supercar Championship Series. I spend my working life designing and developing race car components, then testing them out at race tracks around Australia and the world. To be honest, it's pretty much every boy's dream job. I've been lucky enough to win three Bathurst 1000s as part of the team. I've travelled to very you know, exotic locations around the world, the Middle East, China, the USA, just racing cars. And my mechanical engineering degree has been absolutely critical in uh, achieving this and to have the awesome job that I have. Okay. Hi, I'm Ken. G'day, I'm Sam. Hey, I'm James. Hi, I'm Lincoln. We graduated in mechanical engineering at Monash between the years of 2010 and 2013. We're all designed engineers at SuperCAP, where we develop high mobility vehicles to the Defence Force. We have offices in Australia and the UK. Hi, my name's James. I graduated in 2012. I currently work as a structural design engineer in the aerospace industry based in Melbourne and have recently lived in the United States where I've designed aircraft wing components. Hi, my name is Ashan. I graduated from Monash in 2008. Since then I've worked primarily in product design. I currently work as a mechanical engineer for a global product development consultancy designing biomedical instruments for the in vitro diagnostic sector. Hi, my name is Andrew. I graduated as a mechanical engineer in 2011. I've worked in the automotive manufacturing and now the railway industries. I'm currently working here at uh, Monash University with the Institute of Railway Technology as a data acquisition specialist. I spend a lot of time uh, up in Karatha playing with giant trains and a lot of time around here doing, uh, doing the consulting work for industry. Hi, my name is Alex. I graduated mechanical engineering in 2004. 
Since then, I've been designing car parts for a major OEM. I've lived in Japan for a year. I lived in Ann Arbor in Michigan for a year. I've learned Japanese. I've traveled through Asia, through South America, South Africa, all for work. And I've seen the way people live in different parts of the world and learned a lot about other cultures that I would never have thought possible at the start of my degree. Hi, my name is Brad. I graduated in 2009. I work as a technical engineer in Truganina, west of Melbourne. As a mechanical engineer, I test out products to ensure they meet the Australian conditions and when required, we'll design and source new components to ensure they do not overheat. Hi, my name's Scott. Uh, I graduated Monash in 2007. Um, I started my career working in the automotive industry as a vehicle dynamics engineer. More recently, I've moved back to Monash Engineering, uh, consulting to the rail industry, specialising in vehicle dynamics and simulation. My name's Jared Hammond. I was part of the Monash Formula SE team from 2002 until 2005. After I graduated, I spent three years at Boeing and Fisherman's Bend, working on the 787 Dreamliner and on some defence projects. I uh, then went to France for a year, studied a, a master's degree, and then went to England for two years, worked on the Le Mans program for Aston Martin Racing on LMP1 and GT cars. And for the last 12 months, I've been back in Australia working on an electric vehicle race car project. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Adams. I graduated from Monash in 2011 with a mechanical engineering degree, and I now work Navy as an assistant marine engineering officer on board HMAS Anzac. As part of my role, I work with the refrigeration system, the power generation, the propulsion system, and pretty much any system on the ship aside from weapons. Uh, whilst I've been on board, I've had a lot of uh, opportunity to travel. Uh, last year I went to Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Perth, where I am again. I live in Sydney, though next year I'm being posted to Adelaide. I know you're all about to make a big choice about what stream of engineering you're going to go into next year. I highly recommend mechanical engineering. I thoroughly enjoyed my time. Thank you. Hopefully those short videos have shown you some of the different fields you can work in as a mechanical engineer. All the best with your decision and we hope to see you next year.